As that's Good Odyssey has been out for a few months and rumors have already surfaced about the future of the franchise beyond Odyssey. So let's take a look at those rumors and go over if they could be real or fake. And just some general things that I thought were interesting regarding this situation. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. The big thing we of course have to start with that you are likely already aware of and that is the fact that there is no new Assassin's Creed game in 2019. Just like we saw in 2016 between Syndicate and Origins, although they of course still released the Ezio collection as a retail release. So that's why I think there's more coming to Odyssey than we know right now, but I shared that theory already in a previous video that I will link to at the end of this one. So anyways, this means that a new Assassin's Creed game in 2020 is extremely likely. Like I don't see Ubisoft skip two years without a new game. Jason Schreier from Kotaku, who reported on many AC games before they were announced, claims that he already knows what the next game in the series will be in a recent video with YouTuber Young Yeah. We knew, or I knew back in uh, a while back, that mm -hmm. the next Assassin's Creed, or that Odyssey was set in Greece. Yeah. Um, I actually know what the next Assassin's Creed already is. So why will he not, like, report on that, you ask? Well, because he does not want to spoil the announcement for no reason, but only report on it when it makes sense because of things that are happening at that moment. Like his Diablo story was published because people were angry after the Diablo Immortal mobile announcement at BlizzCon. Anyway, with Jason already knowing this info, I think a 2020 release is even more likely. I mean, it could totally be that there are free Assassin's Creed games in development at this moment, but we will get to that. Let's touch on one rumor first that I really think is extremely unlikely. Assassin's Creed Adder. So this one should be set after Origins where we follow Amunet, Aya of course, and her first 14 years building a guild in ancient Rome. The Brotherhood system will make a comeback with a few tweaks including a ranking system where your hidden ones can climb the ranks. We will also see Bayek as a supporting role but he will be playable in certain missions as well. This game will be a collaborative project between Montreal and Quebec and Melissa McCubrey will make a comeback. She was of course the narrative director on Odyssey and also worked on Syndicate. Two things, I don't think we will play as Aya because I think it's pretty clear that Ubisoft wants every new Assassin's Creed game as an entry point with new characters. I mean we saw that recently but also of course in the older Assassin's Creed games. And I think that Montreal and Quebec like collaborating also makes no sense for me. Like Quebec just finished Odyssey and would then work with Montreal who has already been working on this game. Seems a little too far fetched. Now the core teams I think are at the moment one in Montreal, so Ashraf Ismail's team who was responsible for Origins. He by the way was recently looking for a senior writer for an incredible AAA project. You would think that that's a new AC ride. And Ubisoft Quebec is already working on something else as well. They hired the RPG veteran Mike Laidlaw who worked on the Mass Effect series Dragon Age and more Bioware properties. He is now a creative director on an unannounced project. Could be the new Assassin's Creed game of course as well with them of course moving more into an RPG direction but maybe it's a new IP for all we know. I think there's also still an Odyssey team intact to work on new content for that game. No, but Adder is also getting debunked by Jason Schreier, saying on Recent Era that he does not think this is even remotely true. While again, he very likely knows what the next game will be about. Because, like I already said, he reported on many AC games in the past before they were announced, like Assassin's Creed Victory, and also on Ubisoft skipping a year and working on an Assassin's Creed game in Egypt. Now, I think a rumor that YouTuber Fishy shared, I put a link to his channel in description down below, and was also shared on the Kill Connor Club podcast, is more likely. This is from an anonymous source who says that the next game is in development at Ubisoft Sovia. And if you are not familiar, they were the leading team for Assassin's Creed games before. They did Rogue, Assassin's Creed Liberation on the PC, helped with Black Flag and recently developed the Curse of the Varos DLC for Origins. And I'm not sure if they are going to do the Atlantis DLC for Odyssey. I mean, it would make sense if they made the Curse of the Pharaohs. That was, of course, also really focused on the mythical side of that setting and the first civilization. 
but I'm not entirely sure that they are also working on that. Anyway, I think it would make sense if they were the leading team on this sequel. They already made Assassin's Creed games before, worked on Origins and the Curse of the Varos DLC. Of course, they will have help from many other studios in Ubisoft, like Ubisoft in the Philippines, who, as this rumor states, is assisting on this 2020 game called Legion. According to the rumor, it should act as a Bayek sequel with a close descendant of his and Ayas in Rome. We might see possible Revelation-esque flashbacks. Of course, it's still a rumor, but I think this is more likely than that you play solely as Aya or Bayek, because this way it can still be an entry point for people while giving the fans more Bayek love that they of course want. The rumor also mentions that Cassandra might be in the game, okay, okay, and that she is possibly related to the protagonist. The world should be most of Italy and very fan servicey, and has really been made to hold off until the next gen ash game and to be honest i hope that this is true not only does this sound pretty cool more things related to bayek and aya italy as a world and more things that make assassin's creed like assassin's creed but also that ash and his team in montreal are then likely focusing on a 2021 next gen game that likely like origins will really evolve the series with a focus on the next PlayStation and Xbox. So this source continues that he is not sure what the setting is of this potential 2021 game. A friend of his working on Watch Dogs 3 that should be out this year and saw concept art of an East Asian setting. So thinks that that might be it. But then this source also has another friend and he works at Treyarch, the Call of Duty studio of course. And that guy has friends in Montreal saying that the Ash team is actually working on Vikings. So he doesn't have a clue of what they are doing over there. Yes, I agree that last part was pretty vague. We have to of course still remember that nothing of this is confirmed. It's all a rumor at this point. And now I want to insert my crazy theory because what if this next gen game from Ash is actually one with multiple settings. I discussed this Ubisoft article a while back where we got the executive VP of creative from Ubisoft talking about an Assassin's Creed game where you could travel between several historical periods as something they might want to do in the future. They also discussed that this could be something we see in a Far Cry game and I think with Far Cry New Dawn we already kind of see that. You have these expeditions where you leave Hope County behind and then go to other parts of the US and then fight evil there and try and get a package that you then want to take back to the open world that you can freely discover. So I think that that is kind of the first sort of step we see towards Ubisoft games being set in multiple parts of in this case the US but in the case of Assassin's Creed it might be in several historical periods. Then we could go to Asia and also have a Viking setting in one game. It sounds crazy, I know, but that will be of course almost three years from now. And maybe Ubisoft is a little bit scary about the mass market appeal of an East Asian game, so having the Vikings in there as well might balance that out. Okay, okay, too much speculation there, I can totally see why. Of course, everything discussed in this video again is all a rumor, nothing has been confirmed at this point. I think you can just forget about Assassin's Creed Adder. The name as well, like it does not really sound right. Could of course still be a project name, but yeah. I still wanted to highlight it because it was a rumor that people also sent to me. So wanted to discuss it. It was out there. I don't think you should believe it. But yeah, the one that Fishy shared and the Kill Connor Club is in my opinion more likely. While it could of course still be that Ashes team in Ubisoft Montreal is making the 2020 game. I mean, it would not be the first time that Ash was the game director on a cross-gen game. Black Flag came out when the new consoles released as well, but also released on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. I also think that three years of development time should be enough. Of course, if they want to go full next gen and really evolve the series, then more time, the four years that they would get if they released it in 2021, would of course be way nicer. But yeah, I digress. We know for sure that the next game is in 2020, I think, with a 2019 focus on Odyssey that I really can't wait for, by the way. Like, the coming months should be packed with new content for the game, and I will, of course, cover it here. But yeah, beyond that, in 2020, I think we will likely see the next AC game in Rome. Want to go more in depth on that as well, like why I think that more things fall in line with Ubisoft Sofia working on the game and the game being set in Rome. For now I'm curious to hear what you think like about these rumors. 
totally let me know in the comments of this video and just what you want to see of Assassin's Creed in the future in general. Didn't really touch on what I would personally want to see, just more on the rumors that are out there. Anyway, of course, subscribe for everything about the future of Assassin's Creed titles. For now, of course, the focus will totally be on Odyssey. Like this video to support the channel. Check out my video with all the content that we know is coming to Odyssey in 2019. And my theory on why I think there will be more than is announced at this point. And I will, of course, speak to you next time. Goodbye.